Hello guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we will study about the iterations. In the previous section, we discussed very important building block of any computer program, which is selection. Now it's time to discuss another very important structure, which is iterations. A type of control structure that repeats a statement or block of statements is called looping structure or in short, iterations. In sequence, all instructions were executed in the same order that were defined. No instruction was skipped and no instruction was repeated. While in the selection that we discussed in the previous section, some instructions were selected or skipped on the basis of a condition. In iterations, some instructions are repeated in a specific number of times. There are three types of loops in general. The first loop is called counter control loops or in short, we call it for loops. Counter control loop or for loop repeats a statement or set of statement for a specific number of time. We already know in advance how many times the for loop will be executed. So, we should use the for loop in a situation when we know in advance how many times these statements will be executed. The second type is called conditional loop or sentinel control loops. The most popular name for these kind of loop is while loop. Conditional loop or while loop will repeat a statement or set of statements as long as a given condition is true. As long as the condition is true, the for loop will continue its execution and it will be terminated when the condition is false. We should use while loop in a situation when we don't know in advance how many times these statements will be executed. The third type is called infinite loops. These loops can be executed for the unlimited time. These kind of loops are very common in games where we want to retain some graphics as long as the video game is running. Now let me discuss some examples of for loop and while loop. For example, repeat the name of a student for 10 times. So in this situation, we need to use the for loop because we know that we repeat the name of the student for 10 times. So here, we already know that 10 is the maximum counter that we need to achieve. Now look at the second example. Keep entering the positive integer values until user enter negative integer value. Now in this situation we don't know after how many tries user will enter the negative integer value. Therefore, this loop is called conditional loop. So as long as the condition is true, that is the number that user is going to enter is positive, then this loop will keep going. First of all, we will discuss the for loop with lots of example and then followed by the while loop. I hope you really enjoy this lecture. Thank you for watching.